What is going on everyone, it's Nier again, and welcome back to my Battlefield for Dummies field manual series. This series basically takes things within the Battlefield series and breaks them down in layman's terms, so even the simplest of noobs can possibly understand them. Today we're going to be talking about the third kit within the Battlefield series, and that kit today, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the support class. Picture the support player as exactly what the name implies, a support player. A support player's main focus is helping the rest of his teammates out. Now while the Assault class is kind of the action Rambo hero movie class of the Battlefield series, a support player is the guy that's kind of back there helping out those kind of players. The primary focus of the support player is to supply ammo. There are two things that you need in Battlefield to do well. You need health and you need ammo. Medics throw down health, support players throw down the ammo. The exclusive primary weapon of choice for the support player is going to be the light machine gun, which do excellent damage downrange and can be all around bullet hoses and provide unmatched suppressing power. Battlefield 4 boasts a total of 11 different kinds of light machine guns to choose from, and just like all other first person shooter games, you start off with one light machine gun, and the more kills and assists that you get with that light machine gun, you can unlock more light machine guns. The support kit comes with tons of different kinds of gadgets, all serving a different purpose to help your team. You start with the ammo pack, which is a small little packet of ammo that you throw on the ground, and one player at a time can resupply their bullets as well as their grenades. And then you work up to the ammo box, which is a big stationary ammo crate where lots of teammates all at once, including yourself, can all run up and take ammo and grenades out of that pack. There are also different kinds of gadgets that come with the support package outside of just different kinds of ammo boxes. There is the XM25, which serves just like its Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 counterpart. It shoots a small explosive that isn't ideal for killing enemy players, but rather injuring them and knocking down walls. If the XM25 isn't your cup of tea, perhaps you try out the Mortar Strike. The Mortar is a stationary weapon where you set up and you can drop mortar fire down on enemy locations be it on objectives, high density areas, or what have you. If it's your cup of tea, you can also equip claymores to lock down buildings. The MP APS, which functions kind of like a trophy system from the Call of Duty series, which can intercept enemy RPGs. Or maybe you feel like equipping some C4 explosives, which can be used to take down buildings or possibly even damage enemy vehicles. It's been my experience running the support kit within Battlefield 4 that the best way to run it is to be the ammo guy. Once you unlock both the ammo box as well as the ammo pack, it's amazing. You throw down the ammo box when you see a ton of teammates all gathered together. They can all resupply their bullets, resupply their grenades, which of course helps them as well as gives you a ton of points. And then if you see that one teammate that's kind of off to the side there, kind of away from the pack, maybe a bit of a loner, you go over and you throw him down the individual ammo pack. That way you're getting tons of resupply points, you're helping your team, and of course you're helping yourself by leveling yourself up. It's also been my experience that light machine guns are not exactly ideal weapons. A couple of things you need to know about light machine guns in Battlefield 4 is they function similar to the sniper rifles from Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 was notorious for when you try to quickscope in that game, your weapon is just inaccurate for the first few seconds, and that is how the light machine guns function within Battlefield 4. You'll find that you cannot use them the same way you use a carbine or a DMR or an assault rifle. You, have, you find that you need to stop, aim down sight, and just kind of wait. Light machine guns are more used for suppressing power rather than Rambo run and gunning. That in mind, I still recommend using a light machine gun on the support class. If you guys like to check out my particular class of choice when I'm running the support package, here it is. I found of the light machine guns, I'm kind of a fanboy of the M60. The M60 itself is a rather low fire rate, high damage light machine gun. It's got a lot of classic, nostalgic appeal to me personally. I like to use it with the holographic sight and the bipod. That way I can set my bipod up and my LMG will be incredibly accurate in putting bullets down range. Like I said earlier in the video, both my gadgets are going to be ammo. I have the ammo pack as well as the ammo box. I find that throwing down ammo left and right, you get tons of points for that, as well as you get to help out your team, which of course is always my number one concern when playing any kind of first-person shooter, is winning the match. Everything I do in first-person shooters is revolving around winning and doing what I can to help the team and try and win the match. And you need health, and you need bullets. To win in battlefield and if you're running a support package 
You are the bullet guy. Let me know your guys' opinion on the support class. I find that it is oftentimes the second most popular choice when it comes to different classes within Battlefield 4. Number one, of course, being Assault. Number two, being Support. Number three, being Engineer. And number four, being Recon. Let me know what you guys think about my support class. What light machine gun do you guys prefer? Do you prefer to use a light machine gun at all? I've found oftentimes that people run support. They oftentimes will switch out their light machine guns in favor of a carbine or perhaps their favorite shotgun. Sometimes a DMR with the recent buffs to them, but um, but that's neither here nor there. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel it deserves, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I was banging seven grand rocks as I rolled. I got one game.